welcome back to another episode again thank you for everybody for supporting uh any comments likes uh new subscribers it's always welcome certainly appreciate it um and the numbers been going up so let's run them up run them up run them up um yeah thank you to everybody uh you see the title you see the uh thumbnail um this will probably be a part two um again government daddy uh strikes again you know subsidizing uh poor behavior uh you know i think our women make up 37 percent of student loan debt so i think obviously this is going to be a really big win you know and that th this is always the problem that i have like people always you know we make this point here on this side that without government subsidies you know what I'm saying a lot of our women are not really doing as well as they think they are and of course the last story i told you know was about a woman who i dated one time who likely had a lot of debt and i can just kind of like sniff it out because me being debt free a lot of times i can like look through you know the nonsense and see how people sort of you know act in certain situations a really big question is what's your net worth you know what i mean and typically, I'm just trying to see if they understand, one, what net worth is, and also if they know whether it's positive or not. Because a lot of times, people don't know whether their net worth is even positive, let alone the actual number, um, which is, you know, again, crazy. But neither here nor there. We always make the point on this side to say that a lot of our strong, independent Black women who don't need no man get government subsidies as a means to stay afloat and this again is one of those things like it, it's ten thousand dollars i think again our women average like forty three forty four thousand dollars in student loan debt so it's, you know we're looking at around like a fourth you know what i'm saying of the average you know what i'm saying student loan debt that uh that our women uh you know owe but it, it, it again proves that without government subsidies a lot of these things don't really they don't really happen you know what i'm saying you got the student loan debt of course you have you know what i'm saying section eight you have cash assistance child support so on and so forth without the government and the state without the fed and the state a lot of this stuff doesn't really fly you know what i mean and you know again take it if they're giving it to you take it if they're giving it to you you know what i'm saying but it just proves again that this is not like it, it's as much as women want to believe that they're doing it by themselves you know what i mean there's always somebody hopping in helping them and i'm sure you know three years from now four years from now or maybe even a month from now they'll forget that this happened and then continue to call themselves strong and independent and don't need no man except for government daddy you know what i'm saying government daddy is king and then after that i don't need no man you know and look just just as a as a marker and i said it on the on the last video just as a as a bit of advice rather you know what i'm saying if you're one of these people who benefited from you know what i'm saying the ten thousand dollars being paid off please keep going and get out of actual debt you know what i mean because if your habits don't change likely likely you're gonna spend that ten thousand dollars back into debt anyway because i think more of the problem and this doesn't address it is that people are getting into debt because they just don't have any kind of you know budget or any they don't know up from down with regards to what they're spending so that ten thousand dollars will probably end up being right back on there just just in credit card debt or in car loan debt or something else so really i mean is this helping probably not really you know what i mean but at the end of the day it was one of his campaign promises joe biden so he just you know he did what he said he was gonna do but i mean this probably as much as it helps it probably doesn't do what it's supposed to do i think that you get a small percentage of people who would take this opportunity to say oh crap you know a fourth or almost half of my student loans are gone let me get the rest of it and knock it out you know what i'm saying and those people would be smart and then there are people who will take this ten thousand dollars and act like it was their ten thousand dollars and somehow they'll spend it back you know and of course they're not giving you ten thousand dollars you're just forgiving the money but 
You get my point. It's like when people get income tax money and they spend it like it's extra money. Like, no, that's actually just your money. It's just that you, you know what I mean? And even with like the loans, like the uh, the returns, the fund, the, the, the return uh, funds, the refund checks, you know what I'm saying? We were in college, you know what I'm saying? I remember getting that money and spending it like I ain't, like I was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Buying shoes, buying clothes, you know what I'm saying? Eating good, things of that nature. Not really understanding that this money isn't necessarily mine and I'm spending it, you know, against myself. But I think it's more so like, even though we do the loan forgiveness, we should probably get these women, you know, mostly women, because it's mostly women that were even, you know, on the internet crying. We should get these women some kind of financial um, classes, you know what I'm saying, for free. Some kind of budgeting, or just an understanding of what it is that they're actually doing to kind of change their habits. Because if not, the $10,000 is not going to matter. You know what I mean? And then for some women, they owe so much that the interest will give them. You know what I'm saying? Because interest on a lot of student loans are around like, like 6 to 8%. You know what I mean? And when you talk about some women who have an upwards of fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, well, like, you know, with interest in a year, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be tagging on not another $10,000, but... You know what I'm saying? At least another two to three thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be tagged on to that. So really, it as much as it's cool that they're giving them ten thousand dollars, it's really. I mean, like I say, that's that's only one part of their portfolio of debt. You know what I'm saying? You have all the credit cards. You have all the student loan, uh, not student loan, but the car loan debt. Some of them bought houses in this, you know, monstrosity of a of an economy. You know what I mean? Like, so I mean, good luck with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> good luck with that. But I think that they should obviously add with that some kind of financial courses because a lot of these degrees don't even have like math requirements. You know what I mean? Like, like I went to a tech school, went to two tech schools. I went to uh, Lawrence Tech, Michigan Tech, and like. The women that were always in there, you know what I'm saying? Because I was also a tutor, you know, I was also a tutor and I tutored all the way up to and including like probability statistics, you know, um, what's that? Uh, advanced engineering, mathematics, so on and so forth. Every time I'm tutoring women, it's just, they just, you know, you rarely get women at that level, by the way. But then by the time you're like tutoring them, they're just, their brain is fried. It's like, I don't want to do calculus. Like, why would I want to do calculus? You know what I'm saying? You know, I used to tutor when I was in high school. I used to help girls. They would just be fried at about, you know what I'm saying? At about trigonometry. They're like, I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times when they go to college, they're not even getting math requirements or degrees with math requirements in them. So a lot of this stuff is really just addition and subtraction, maybe a little bit of division and multiplication. But really, they just need a budgeting course that'll probably help them a lot more than this $10,000 forgiveness because realistically, like I said, their bad habits got them here and their bad habits are going to keep them here. You know what I mean? That's really the point of it all. But again, thanks everybody for listening. You know what I'm saying? Continue to subscribe, continue to comment, continue to uh, support. Um, This is Mike Perkins and I am out.